everybody, welcome to the Sonic Crew Shaking It. Um, today, um, I got something. This, uh, this is most likely on the DJ side. I got myself a revolver wash. Um, of course I'm gonna need scissors for this. I shall I'll just use a razor blade, because I'm crazy. So, you got the revolver wash, of course with an O clamp, uh, because I got my truss up there, it's going to be going up there any minute, any day now, so, um, yeah, this is the revolver wash unboxing, um, I hope you guys do enjoy. Yeah, so, um, there's a revolver wash and a revolver laser, I just so happened to get the wash, because, you know me, I'm that kind of guy that loves washes. So, yeah, I got the revolver wash. Also, guys, um, this is a $115 light, and you can literally get this off of Target, apparently. Target.com, apparently. So, of course, we have the good old mounting bracket. That'll come in handy. We have our mounting bracket and our safety screw. And then, we have the actual fixture itself. And here. So, never hold these things by the head, guys. Always hold them by the base, like this. And firm grip on the base, like this. And then, just slowly, from bottom to top, wrap it up and unwrap it. There it is. <clears throat> Alright, and there you have it. We have the good old revolver wash. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is not infinite pan and tilt, by the way, guys. Um, this is only there. And under your... I think it's infinite pan and tilt this way. I think it's infinite pan and tilt this way because... This way, it has the wash on the back, and then the moon flower effect once you flip it over. So, yeah. Um, let's plug it in, see what it does. Um, at first, I'm going to test out. Um, test it out. This is actually, guys, this is my very first spotlight. Very first. And I plan on getting many more of these. Um... Especially the ones with the lasers on them. It's It seems to be only like a three or four foot cord. Like always. So I'm going to have to go pick myself up a bigger cord. Um, but either way. Um, this is the back. So you have power in. And DMX in and out. Then you also have a cooling fan. And that's it. Pretty much. Front LCD screen. Uh, four touch button controls so yeah then yeah then all you have to do is really um just plug it in it's really all you have to do then I'll plug in back here behind my bed actually put it right there just wa wait for it to boot up here for a second because it can't i'm gonna run a test on it first You know, look at that. It's already starting to boot. So, if you guys are wondering how I got into the situation of buying this thing, um, well, I, um, saw it one day at Guitar Center, and I thought it looked very cool. So I decided to buy it. And here it is, right now in my room, it is, I think, from what I'm seeing of this performance... I, yeah, there's the infin, infinite pan and tilt. Yeah, so it is infinite pan and tilt this way. So, yeah. Um, very, very effective. Okay, so that was just show one. 
there's many more shows, but, um, find shows again. Oh, I just went past it. Our LED one. Now, I don't know how to do this, but I'd like this side to be on top, but it seems to be going crazy again. Alrighty, guys. So, um, now I know this may sound crazy. I'm going to try and pair this up with my Obey 3. I will soon to be getting a new Obey, guys, by the way. Um... I'm not really an obey, it's more like a, uh, what's it called, um, I don't know, either way, um, I'm going to unplug this, and I'm going to insert our, um, our safety pin, as well as our bracket here, our little bracket, um, always make sure to rest your light like this. These are just all safety precautions that I take to make sure my light stays in contact when I'm hooking it up. Make sure there's no pressure to the head or brackets of any kind. I don't, I don't know. I just I just take these safety precautions because I can. Um, you guys do not have to follow these safety precautions. It's just something I would recommend you do because this is what I always do and I never... I cannot tell you guys how many times I've told people not to carry it by the head. Like, I've seen people carry it like this. It's not good for the light. It is not good for the light at all. Because, number one, you're forcing the light's head. And number two, you're applying pressure to the head itself. What I did was um, not a good idea. There. That second. Alright, so I'm going to have to go get an Allen wrench because these um, things take Allens. So, and yes guys, this is going up on my truss um, probably for a long time, wouldn't doubt it. Um, and when you guys are hooking up DMX to these things, um, I'm probably just going to put it right next to my Kenta for now. Um, always make sure that the DMX cables are snug in there. So, we already have the brackets somewhat on. It's just a little bit shaky, so I'm going to go get an Allen wrench real quick, and I'll be right back. So, everybody, um, I have the Allen wrenches. I'm not sure what it takes, but I'm pretty sure... Ooh, snap, that was kind of bad. Okay, that's the, the second biggest one. Hopefully the biggest one turns. I highly doubt... Yep. It's the biggest one. Alright. So, everybody, this is um, the wash slash moonflower effect head. It is a good head. I'm probably going to be getting more than 70 of these. <laughs> um, but, guys, when I move out, I'm actually going to start a business that supports bands and clubs with lights. So, pretty much, they're going to pay for all the lights, but I will be the interior designer. I'm just buying these lights for reviews for you guys. Well, not really, but I have fun with them as well. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you guys hopefully enjoy this video, um, because I'm going to be making more like it. Um... Such as the Kinta or the Alation Tars that I have. If you're those guys, that one right there, that's the Kinta. And that one right there, that's the Alation Mini Par. That's, those two were my first ever lights. My Alation Mini Pars were my first ever lights. Um, trust me, if I were to give you guys an interview on, like... If, if you guys were to interview me on the Elation Mini Pars, I would say buy them. They're the best light that I have ever gotten. Um, I will probably say that to this one as well. Um, this is probably going to be a review. Um, 
this is probably going to show up on reviews for this light. So, yeah. If you guys are watching this off of that, then, yeah. I'm Zero Nine Glitch. Most of you guys probably know that if you guys are my friends in real life. We still have tons of them. Um, and this light, is its bracket is very small, guys. So, um, you kind of have that huge, like, that huge screw inside of there. You have that screw inside of there. This doesn't really fit through, so I had to screw the top on instead of this part on. So, now I'm going to hang this up there, um, probably right next to the, in between those two, so. Look, guys, these are brand new, by the way. These two things are both brand new. No DMX cable. I did not take into consideration of buying DMX cable. My budget was $200. Oh, snap. Um, okay. I just realized that it would hit my TV if I put it there. But since I know that some brands support going this way, I may be able to do that. Guys, by the way, this is my self-hung truss. Not hung by somebody else. By the way. Yeah, so it's very... It's very sketch. I honestly hate hanging lights like this. Especially washes, but... It's just kind of what I gotta do. I cannot hang it like that, unless if I take it down, the truss down, but I do not want to do that, apparently, because that would just be a pain. Alrighty guys, so, um, I'm going to move my Kinta more towards the center here, um, even though it's already pretty much in the dead center of where, oh yeah, it is, <laughs> it is literally dead center. Um, so I'm going to remove this light here from the truss. This one is pretty much just a smaller moon flower effect on the back of that. So pretty much that is replacing these two lights that I have secured up here with duct tape. And then our mini, or our spotlight, will be taking that guy's place. I love those plants. Ugh, okay. There we go. Alright, so it is successfully hung. Probably backwards. I will fix that later. Um... <laughs> Uh, so, we have our, um, light hung. Obviously, there's cords hitting it. That's not a good thing. Um, but it's alright. Um, so now all I gotta do is grab my power cord. You guys cannot see it. So, that is my truss right there. Um, so, all I gotta do is grab my power cord. Look it into there around a few things real quick, like that, and then just, <sighs> there we go, alright, and then all I have to do is power it on, boom, there you go, you have your full setup, one spot, one spot of course, obviously, gotta, gotta love that spot, <laughs> gotta love it, so, yeah, um, pretty much we have our spotlight, right here, it's booting up, um, we got our Kinta, which is blue currently. We have the spotlight, which is probably going to go crazy as soon as it gets aligned. Which it is about to be aligned, so... I'm... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cords are still hitting it. That's bright! Yeah, so anyways, guys. Um, this is more of a ground light, I'd say. Because, um... Yeah, look at what it's doing. 
You guys are seeing that, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a crazy light. It is a really crazy light. I think I'm going to take it down from the truss here in a second. And just give you guys a little interview of what I think of it when I'm just literally just going to unplug a DMX from my Kenta here for a second. <laughs> okay, just give me a second. Ah, it's got amber? Oh, it's got amber! Ah! It's got amber! Oh, nice! It's got amber! Oh! Oh, yes! I got the beautiful color of amber. Alright, so, um... Gonna turn that off for a second, because that is just super, like, annoying. Alright, so... I'm gonna move my truss around a tiny bit. Um, I'm gonna pause the video, of course, obviously. Why wouldn't I? Um... <laughs> So I'm going to move my truss around a little bit. I'm going to scoot this over to about, like, right here. Um, I'm also going to scoot this to the middle. Or, well, not to the middle, but I'm going to scoot this over to, like, right here. I'm going to scoot that one over to there. I'm going to take this off. <laughs> okay. That was a very cheap light. That was a very, very cheap light. I, I, I don't even need these lights anyway, so... <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to take that light down and probably replace it with that. So, uh, see you guys in like five minutes. For me, it would be like two seconds. Or for you guys, it would be... Uh, for you guys, it would be two seconds. For me, it's going to be like five minutes. Yes, it was five minutes. <laughs> so, um, now we have, of course, our par here. Um, which is currently on white because, um... The thing is now currently taking this guy's signal. Um, he's also going currently random. Currently. I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> so, um, we are going to go to address. Of course, he's on address one. And then we are going to come over here, get our obey. Obviously, I'm a crazy, so you guys know I do obey differently. Um, and there's too much stuff over here. Um, so I have my obey cord right here. If I can get it out. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'd like you to come out, please. Thank ya. Alright, so, now we have our spotlight set to address. It should be, at least. Um, oh. Okay, that thing just goes ham as soon as you turn off. And there's default position. Alright, so, first, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do red, max on these, Alright, that's pan. Red is pan. Alright. And then, I'm guessing green is tilt. Yep. Green is tilt. Alright. So, if I come into here. Alright. So. Let's see it. Let's adjust it to the point where I want it. Alright, it's almost there. Let me go to green. So I want it to be about right there. And that's speed. So, guys, we have absolutely no control over the lights in in um, DMX with the Obey 3. Keep that in mind. Because that's crazy. Yeah. It's craziness. I feel it's craziness. Yeah. So pretty much right now I have absolutely no control over this thing. This thing is pretty much just a light that does that. Unless if I program a new system on it. But I highly doubt I'm going to figure out how to do that here. So yeah. Because I can't even figure out how to use this thing. 
Oh, and we also need to um, put on. Um, we also need to test it real quick. Make sure it's fully working. Motor's not too hot. Alright. Alright, seems to be... Working fine. Um, looks to have some potential in uh, gaming. Um, or maybe not. Seems like it just goes crazy after like five seconds. Yeah, guys, but I will experiment with this thing. I will see you guys later in another video. This is a 20 minute video. Um, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this thing. Oh, <laughs> it's. It's. Screwing up because it's like unscrewing itself. What's now? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but pretty much, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Um, we'll fix that issue. Um, probably set it on the ground or on my desk for the next like two and a half hours, and then probably later, maybe this month ish, I might get a new controller so I can actually control that. But until then. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you guys are actually wanting a review from me, I'd say from what I have right now, it has amber, sea green, blue, actually all the colors on the back. I'm surprised I did not see amber, or orange, I don't know what color that is. But, so pretty much they have blue, red, purple, orange... Green, yellow, blue, that's what it says. And then on the back here, we also have yellow, blue, green, red, and white. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the things. I'm going to keep the box because this is one of my more expensive buys because I just love this thing already. I haven't even had it for at least an hour, and it's already super good. I love it, and, like, oh, gosh... Guys, if you guys want to send me gifts like these things, that would be great for me to do interviews on. I would be pleased to do it. Especially if it's your project, you made it. I would be pleased to do it for you guys. Yeah, so, anyways. I'll see you guys later in another video, and hopefully you guys did enjoy. Bye!